Uh, Lorna Ashworth, your motion to General Synod tomorrow is the main debating point of this week. Um, do you think there are any realistic hopes for unity in the long term? Well, it depends how you define unity and who unity is with. Unity in the worldwide Anglican Communion, I think, is still strong. I think many people are in fellowship with each other. Um, and the lunch meeting that we had today with members of ACNA, what came across strongly was unity. And so there is hope for unity. But your motion, um, if it succeeds, what are the implications of that? The implication for that would be to send a strong mes message of encouragement to people who are practicing biblical, historical Anglicanism. There are no, there are no technical implications. There is no, um, we're not imposing any procedures or, or you know, legal obligation on the archbishops of the, of the Church of England. What if it fails? What if the bishops wreck it? If the motion. Uh, amended or unamended, this it fails tomorrow. I just, I think it would be a, um, it would be a sad sign that that perhaps we're not acknowledging Anglicanism, Anglicans who are practicing Anglicanism just as just as I am today, just as just as we are at the Church of England today. Would you be happy with the amended version with that going through? What I want to see happen, whatever whatever amendment is put forward, what I would like to see is the heart of my motion retained, which is we desire to be in communion. If any amendment, and I haven't seen them all, but if any amendment takes that out, then I wouldn't be happy with it, because that, that's what I think we need to express. Good. Thank you very much, Lana.